Well, hello, this is your devotional for Wednesday, September 1st. Uh, we're continuing on this beginning part of the book of James, and we're going to be looking at James chapter 1, verses 2 through 4. And what I want to talk about is this, that there, are, that there can be joy in the midst of our trials if we have the right outlook, if we have the right perspective. And so listen to God's Word and hear what He has to say to us today. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. And let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Now those opening words are staggering. And if they don't bother you, you're not listening close enough. I mean, listen to how James begins. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds. What is he saying? That trials are good? No. That challenging times are good? No. But he's saying in the midst of those, you can walk in joy. Because God's doing something more than just walking you through that trial. Now, I don't believe that God is the author of evil. I don't believe that God causes bad things to grow us. But when bad things happen in this broken world, God can always bring something good out of it. God can redeem the worst of situations. But we have to, under, to kind of take a look and understand what is God doing in this? And so listen again to the second part of this passage and this kind of the sequence of things that happen. So consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, when you bump into these trials, these times of testing of all sorts of different kinds, of various kinds, why can we do that? Because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. When our faith is tested, and it will be tested in these times, when we struggle and say, Lord, where are you? What's going on? If we persevere, if we hold on, th th those tests you know, produce perseverance in us, the strength to kind of push through, and then let perseverance finish, perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Maturity can come through persevering through hard times. Now, we all know that's true. You want to get in shape. There's no easy path. You work out. You eat better. You do all those hard things. And it's never fun along the way. If it is fun, then you probably aren't doing it hard enough or the right way. It's just challenging along the way to go through difficult times. But you also know as you're working out that the, that the exhaustion, that the fatigued muscles, that the, that the cramp, you ever got in the middle of the night in your calf, like, oh, oh, the cramp, 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 and it's just torturous. You don't go, oh, joy, I love it. You go, no, this is, it's tough. That's part of the journey. But you know as you push through it, the cramps become less. The muscles become stronger. You feel better and healthier. Why? Because you're pressing through something challenging. When trials come in your life, and right now, whether it's relational conflicts, personal struggles, fears, anxiety, health issues, whatever it is, in the midst of it, say, God, I want to walk in joy because I know that through this, if I keep my eyes on you and focus on you and I persevere, you're going to mature me and make me more like Jesus. And that's worth celebrating. This is my challenge to you. What is the trial I'm going through right now? What's the challenge? Can I say, Lord, let me walk in your joy because I know as I press through this, you're going to make me more the person you want me to be. Lord Jesus, that's our prayer. That we would be able to have joy not because of hard things, but because you're with us through hard things. Because in your power and the power of your spirit, when we sustain and press through, we can be confident that God, as you take us to the other side, we are more mature. We are more like Jesus. We're living more like you. Lead and guide us, we pray in his glorious name. Amen. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your week. And again, this Sunday, look forward to seeing you in worship, whether you're indoors at Shoreline, whether you're outdoors on the big jumbo, 20-foot jumbotron, and you bring your own chair and watch in the courtyard, or whether you're at home. We are one family. Let's worship together this coming Sunday.